Okay, welcome back to Canterbury's Turning. We're back up in the shop. Welcome to the shop. Um, we just come in from our wood, wood uh, processing center outside in the backyard, and we've got a bowl blank, or one of them, and uh, we're gonna try to pull a bowl out of this blank. My next step would be to uh, mark the top. Um, so that I can get it on the bandsaw and cut it. So I've got a little centering rule here I like to use. Great little invention. I don't know whose idea that was, but the thing works great. So I got center there, which is right down the middle of the pith. Um, center going the other way, approximately right there. And uh, take my little compass out and we'll draw a circle. Where's my brush? I want to... Got a little bit of dirt here on this side. Brush that off. Might be a little gentler on the bandsaw. Get that dirt off. So I'll bring this in a little bit. As I was saying uh, out in the cut yard that, you know, the biggest diameter uh, bowl I'm going to get is the diameter of the tree. And if I can leave a little sapwood on the edges, I will. I think it uh, makes makes for a nice decoration on a on a bowl. I think, you know, the uh, offset color. Um, but some of the times, some of that will come off. So there's my my circle. We'll get that on the bandsaw and cut that round. I've got my center there that I'm going to use back on the lathe. Get that on there. And um, to the bandsaw we go which is right here. I've got the height set at a good spot. One of the things I like to do on my bandsaw is with a little uh, brush and some WD-40, I like to lubricate the blade. So it does a couple of things while it lubricates the blade and it cleans off any pitch or residue on that blade. Uh, it turns a little more smoothly. Um, and cleanly. Cuts a little cleaner. I, I like that. I've got a dust collection system that's hooked up to the bandsaw. Um, so I'm going to start that up. I'm going to cut the sound, start it up, brush some of this on the blade, and then bring the blank over and cut it around, and I'll be back with some sound. So I'm going to cut the sound for a minute. Okay, hopefully I'm back with sound. Um, 
So remember what I was saying out the cut yard that I wanted that flat spot so I could mark mark out the uh, top of the bowl. You know, had I had I not had a flat spot, you know, I would have not had enough. Had I left this round, not flattened it out. You know, it's, it's pretty difficult, difficult to run a circle around this when they're running into the park. Um, what some people will do, um, I don't know if I have them handy, but they will take a plywood cutout and tack it on to what would have been round and trace that with the bandsaw. It's a, you know, tack it on with a nail. And uh, that's kind of awkward to do. And yeah, your, your, your little plywood's overhanging and not really stable. So I, I think the best way is to get a flat like that, to get it on the bandsaw and cut your circle. So, um, so now I've got a blank that's ready for the lathe. You know, I will typically uh, check for any loose bark that might come off. Uh, this looks like it's still pretty tight. But prior to putting it on the lathe, I will make sure anything loose that might come off when I start to spin it, um, I've taken that off. So that concludes my um, yard to uh, bandsaw segment. The next step will be on the lathe, and I'll do that at a later date. Thank you for joining me today.